um, so our platform technology licensed, uh, licensed from Harvard University is called MURFISH, which stands for Multiplexed Error Robust Fluorescence in Situ Hybridization. So this is the RNA imaging based technique that can locate and quantify RNA species uh, at the same time with subcellular resolution. So probably some of you may know that uh, there are some RNA imaging technologies uh, such as single molecule fish existed before. Uh, however, the limitation of these traditional techniques is that the number of RNA molecules that can be profiled and imaged at the same time uh, is very limited, very limited, often less than five at the same time. The reason for uh, this uh, low plex uh, is because these traditional methods rely on the use of spectrally distinct dyes uh, to tell and uh, resolve different RNA species. And since we don't really have, say, for example, hundreds of different dyes to label hundreds of different RNA species, so that's why we, don't, we cannot really have that high multiplexing power. So in contrast, Murphy's technology really enables highly multiplexed RNA imaging capable of resolving from hundreds to tens of thousands different RNAs within cells. So there are three key aspects um, that made this highly multiplexed measurement possible. Uh, first is complementary labeling, uh, then sequential imaging, and error robust barcoding. So as shown by this schematic uh, on this slide to perform Murphish, uh, we use complementary labeling strategy to label each targeted RNAs uh, with a tie of oligoprobes containing different barcodes. And then each barcode is fluorescently detected in sequential round of imaging, as you're seeing here. Uh, for example, one of some of the RNA species in the first round of imaging, uh, it will have a fluorescent signal of on, and then it, it reads out as a binary code of one, and then some are not really light up, then it's a zero. And then we will extinguish the signal and then apply another, another round of readout probes to read out the second round of imaging uh, signal again, and then some are light up, and then we assign a uh, code of one, and then some are uh, dark, then it's zero. And by doing this sequential run of imaging, then the optical barcode generated from these multiple runs of imaging with ones indicating fluorescence signal and zeros uh, indicating low fluorescence, then we'll hope to resolve different RNA species. And then this spatially resolved RNA profiling data then gives a physical picture of the cells uh, or tissue of interest uh, as shown by the picture on the right. Uh, what you're seeing here is that these colored dots indicating different RNA species, and then the gray lines are indicating uh, the boundary of, boundary of the cells. Uh, and of course, you can zoom out uh, to much larger tissue areas to get a global sense of how different genes are expressed uh, in a, a, on a tissue scale. So Murphish was uh, originally developed by our scientific co-founder, Dr. Xiao Wei Zhuang at Harvard University in 2015. Uh, so since the initial publication in science, uh, it has been validated by a list of publications, either coming from Xiao Wei's lab or from other independent labs now as well. And it has already brought transformative discoveries in the field. Uh, it was also labeled by Nature magazine as technology to watch, uh, really highlighting the excitement it has already generated in the field.